ready to kick the ball around? Yeah! Okay, good. First and foremost, I want to say thank you to Angel and to all of the board, all the people who put this, uh, this event together. Let's give them a round of applause, please. Thank you to all of you for being here. Uh, my name is Ruben Kiwin. I'm a state senator here in Nevada. I actually represent this area and the entire strip uh, and part of East Las Vegas. So if you live in any of those areas, I represent you in the state senate. But before I was a state senator, I was a semi-professional soccer player who had aspirations to become a professional soccer player. Uh, and I won't share my long story with you, but up until I was 18 years old, I was destined to be a professional soccer player and wear one of those uniforms. Uh, my dream was to play for Chivas de Guadalajara in Mexico. And, and, there you go. and I was doing just fine. Uh, my senior year, I became Nevada State Player of the Year. So I was Nevada High School's wow. Player of the Year uh, for Rancho High School. I broke the record in goals. Uh, and anyway, I won't tell you how many goals it was. How many but, goals was it? But a recruiter came to our school and he said, hey, this skinny kid with the big head is pretty good. Uh, he's pretty fast and he could put the ball in the net. Uh, and so three months before my professional soccer tryout, three months before it, we had already talked to Jorge Vergara, the owner of the Chivas, and three months before my tryout, I was playing in, a, in an adult soccer league. And I was going up against the goalie. It was two to two, semi-final game. And I was literally right here half point. My goalie kicked the ball and it bounced over the defenders. So I went over the defenders, went straight with the goalie, one on one. I was gonna put the ball in the net. I was all by myself. And you know what happened? One of the defenders grabbed my jersey. Big guy, about 6'3". He looked more like a football player than a soccer player. Although it is football. Um, <laughs> and he grabbed my jersey right when I was gonna kick the ball. Uh, my foot got stuck in the ground and he landed right on top of the foot. And, you know, I knew it was something serious, so I went to the doctor. The doctor said, I have good news and bad news. The good news is you're gonna play soccer again. And I said, perfect. I'll be ready for my try in three months. He said, the bad news is you can't play professional soccer again or ever, because that kind of injury, a professional team's never gonna invest in you. And so that right there was the end of my soccer career even though I still play soccer today. Now, why do I still play soccer? Because you love me. Because I love soccer. But also because I like to stay healthy. I like to stay fit. Because bottom line is that if you don't have health, if you don't have good health, you have nothing. You can't work. You can't enjoy your family. You can't have a normal life. And so what we're here do doing here today is promoting a healthy lifestyle. You know, to this day, I still play soccer in this precise field uh, once a week. Uh, I actually injured my knee last uh, two, two weeks ago, so I can't play right now. But I still do it. Even though I'm a busy guy, I travel a lot, I go out there and get speeches, I go out there and, uh, and serve on the legislature, I still think it's important to stay, uh, make time to stay healthy. And so what we're doing here today on a Sunday is important, but what's more important is what you can do every single day to maintain that healthy lifestyle. So thank you so much for having me and enjoy today. Thank you.